guys, welcome back to Mayfield Ranch. I'm Katie. I'm Gary. So today we thought we'd hang out with you a little bit. We're just hanging out in our living room. We got these packs from Baker Creek. So we got two of them, we opened them. We just thought we'd share with you what we got from Baker Creek. So we'll get started. Probably half the fun here is gonna be seeing if we can actually pronounce them. So we got some long beans, Chinese red noodle beans. We got some black strawberry tomatoes. Black strawberry tomatoes. Flat white boer squash. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Boer squash. Um, these melons are called kahare. Kahare. Let me see. Kahare. Oh, kajari melons. Kajari melons. Kajari right? melons. We have blue Hubbard squash. Uh, some more tomato black cherry. Oh, Honey Boat De La Cotta. We really like this, so we ordered a bunch more seeds. Uh, this is tomato. These are called Orange Accordion. And I got some pineapple tomatoes. Pineapple tomatoes. So we really wanted to get some more heirloom seeds. So all these are heirloom seeds from Baker Creek so that we could save seeds if we like the items that we are growing. So if you haven't seen some of the things we're getting today, some of these are new to us. Just check out our garden tours this year and you'll see how they grow. These are honey nut squash. This is one of my favorites too, honey nut. Yeah, you like those. Okay, I got this Romanesco broccoli. So it's really pretty. Oh, we got tomato. These are Napa Valley Chardonnay tomatoes. Never heard of them. I know, I got some more honey nut squash. That's one of our favorites. We like it and it stores really well over winter, so that's perfect. Look at these. This is a tomato. It's called a Jersey Devil. And it looks like a pepper almost. Uh, this one we got free. Detail pepper. Um, Another tomato that I can't pronounce. Uh, how do you say this, babe? I'll let you give it a try. Uh, tomato Garoppoli di Inverno. <laughs> I guess that's how you say it. Butternut orange squash. Um, amar I don't even know. If Amaranth. These Amaranth dreadlocks. <laughs> I thought those would be really pretty kind of hanging. We have raised beds, so I thought those might be pretty just kind of hanging over the side of the raised beds. So we'll see how that goes. I got this giant Indian snake bean. Check this out, bubs. Oh yeah. Pretty cool. These are eggplant. They look like uh, peppers also. They're ping tongue eggplants. Ping tongue. These. Thai soldier long beans. Um, what's a gourd? It's a gourd. That's, yeah, the koozie koozie. So this is that koozie koozie ser serpentine squash. I think it's supposed to taste like zucchini, but grow on vines and be like really long. So excited to try this one out this year. I've got these black, whoops. I've got these black nebula carrots. This is actually what made me place the order. I saw these in the catalog. So we have the Baker Creek, the full seed or whole seed catalog. And I saw these and I really wanted them. These look like habaneros, but uh, they're called pepper datil, datil? Maybe, I don't know how to say it. Pepper datil, I guess. Okay, we got these bitter melons. So, the, I did I read about these a little bit. I don't know how to say what they are. Japano, Okinawan, I don't know. They're bitter melon, they look really pretty cool. They look different. These are supposed to be really good for, like if you're insulin resistant, or it's supposed, to, it's supposed to really help with stuff like that. So I thought this would be pretty neat to add to our garden. We've never tried one, so we'll try it out and we'll see if we like it. What else do you got? We got uh, squash, zucchini, zucchino, rampang, I don't know, rampang, um, yeah, zucchini, ram, rampicante? Rampicante, yeah. So we got that. And then here's tomato, is dad sunset. It looks like an orange tomato. That looks pretty cool. Dad. Long beans, Taiwan yard long. Oh, show them. Look, supposed to, wow, those are, 
Look like almost like uh, willow branches hanging from a tree. So we got some moringa. This is supposed to be really good. So I've actually bought moringa powder before and we put it in, like you can put it in smoothies or I put it in our egg, actually. We put it in our eggs. Um, so we're gonna try to grow some. We'll see how it works. Here's, I've seen these before. These are Cherokee purple. Yeah, we've grown those before. I got some bok choy. These are beans. Oh, They're yeah. called 1500 year old cave. What kind of beans are those? They're 1500 year old cave beans. And so another thing that I ordered, they look really pretty. Like if you can kind of see the coloring, they look like they'd be really pretty. So I ordered those. We've got this sweet dumpling squash. So I'm hoping this is kind of like De La Cotta, but maybe this will grow on a vine. I'm not super sure, but when I saw it in the catalog, I wanted to try it out. So we got that. Here's more bitter melon. This is just a different variety of bitter melon. We've never tried bitter melon. It's supposed to be just really good for you. So we wanted to try it out. Here's a uh, Japanese white egg. Look, it's an eggplant, but it's white. So. More beans, good mother Stillard beans. And then I also got the, I've got the Cherokee Trails of Tears beans. Ooh, look at these, blue cream berries, tomatoes. We haven't grown those before. You know, if you guys have grown those, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you liked them. I bought them just for the name. More flat white pumpkins. We want to grow more pumpkins this year and see if we can just kind of store more over winter. Here's a squash, it's called Jack B. Little. This thing's got some uh, unique names, huh? Just little pumpkins. More Jersey Devil tomatoes. I, oh, I ordered a few packs of these. Rich over at the Old Swedes Farm did really, really well this last season with the Jersey Devil tomatoes, so we want to give them a try. All right, here's a... Uh... I don't know, I can't say it. B L A. Yeah, I don't know. Blay, Blay high, high. I don't know, I can't even pronounce that. Maybe Blood Hill? Blood Hill beans? Blood Hill? Please excuse us if we're butchering how to pronounce these names. A lot of these are new to us. Uh, this one, some more okra, heavy hitter okra. There's bean succotash. Succotash. Giant cabbage. I thought this looked pretty neat. We'll give that a try. This is Menzuna. I'm not sure, exactly sure what this, what Menzuna is, oh. but Benny, how's she? How's she? Can you pronounce it? No, it's, we've got the same seed. So these came free, it looks like, with our order. I'm not sure what this is. Mizuna, Benny, Houchi. We'll do some more research before we plant those. This looks like a green punk. It's called Jaredell. Oh yeah. Squash. Some squash. This is a candy roaster. Candy roaster squash. Here's a, another eggplant, Chinese string. It's all that I have in my bag. More de la cotta, so we love this. We can't get enough of this. Um, Hearts, Hartsman yellow gooseberry tomatoes. White Thomasel. Thomasel tomatoes. Oh, and more of these Blood Hill beans. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So that's it. We've got like quite the haul here from Baker Creek. So we were pretty excited to kind of dig into this and see what we got and plan out our garden. It's early in the year here in California. So we're just kind of getting started planting some of our seeds on the heating mat and getting those to germinate and sprout. So we got these just in time so you can kind of plan out our spring garden. So we wanted to share what we got with you guys. So if we got any of your favorite, leave us a comment below and let us know what you liked. Give us some tips so we make sure we plant plenty of the ones that are really good. And if you have not seen some of these, if some of them are new to you, then be sure you're subscribed. So as I do garden tours this year, we can show you how things are growing for us here in Northern California, what they look like. We'll give you feedback on how everything performs, how it tastes, whether or not we like it. So be sure to subscribe and we'll share, we'll share with you guys throughout the year how things go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks guys. See you Thanks. guys next time.